Good morning fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. So let's see how the garden's growing. Yeah, I haven't cut them down yet. Gotta get busy on that. Been really busy. A lot of things going on, so... I'm a little behind on the garden. Big tree's still alive. Moved out of here in the sun the last time. And uh, it's not doing better, not doing worse. My patty pan looks like it's finally starting to bite the ghost. Sorry about that plane. You'll notice I fertilized and I put seaweed on it. And it's still having a nutrient-deficiency, nutrient deficiency. so take a look at the stem. It looks like the worms got it in it again. So I've been trying to decide if I want to go psycho on it again. Or just try that uh, bearing technique. So, that's what I'm thinking about. This is that volunteer tomato. This one got really big. Not a lot of tomatoes. One thing I have noticed, there's not been a lot of bees around. A lot of wasps. Or quite a few wasps, but not bees. This one's doing pretty well. But you'll also notice this one is right next to the water. So I think that's why this one's doing pretty good. I don't think it has anything to do with the plant. So yes, I did put a little sugar water in here. And we are getting about a dozen bees. That's probably really about it. My oregano is blooming again. Didn't get any seed off of this one last year. So we'll see if we get any seed this year. Everything's kind of yellowing. It's really hot. Still haven't pulled that out. My golden tomato. These are the, the best tasting tomatoes. I think I've probably said that before. They taste like little bites of apples. With just a bit of acid. They are really good. And I think they would make a wonderful pie. I may have to do that if I ever get enough on here to do it. I'm going to pull these up. Not viable seed this year. As you can see, if you can see, all the pods are little itty bitty. I think I have one normal size pod there and I am not going to go through all this trouble for the rest of the season for that little bit. My carrots, okay. Still trying to figure out where the seeds are. I think it's them coming up. Let's see if we can bring you in. I don't know if it's going to make it. Yeah, it's just going to make it hard to see. Um, but it looked like maybe little balls are starting to form. But it's really hard to tell. But all those white flowers are carrot seeds. Mama Zucchini did really good this year. Last year there was only three or four. But as you see all those seeds. I'm so happy. Lemon tree doing pretty good. We've got some new growth. I put some seaweed on it and then some uh, organic uh, fertilizer compound. Mix the stuff. Bone meal, blood meal. You know, nitrogen. Calcium, and it looks like it's happier. My uh, lettuce seed, as you can see, you see all those dark patches? I think you get, those are all seeds, so I've got to get these off today. That's why I stopped the waterer from watering. Yeah, we have all the dogs wandering around. See, she's gonna run, run. Okay. And then we have the onions looking pretty good nice germination rate really surprised me very nice germination rate and the green beans and this thing just keeps getting fuller and fuller not a whole lot of beans and like I said I think it's because not a whole lot of bees but it's easier to see what's in here from the backside sort of backside so, take a peek. Broccoli, my holy broccoli, like the holy grail. 
Um, still not set in broccoli. May not. May have tried again in the fall. Only got about six broccoli off of this thing. I'm sorry. I'm saying broccoli. I mean Brussels sprouts. Only got about six Brussels sprouts off of this plant. Either one of the plants, and uh, I think it's just too hot. I was hoping, them being in the middle of this green bean tower, that they would ignore the heat. And I will not pull them up. I will leave them as long as they're alive, and I'll just be that much quicker come fall. So, mint, I have not harvested it yet. I'm probably going to do that today if I can find the time. And because uh, we really need to weed whack here. But I won't let anyone weed whack here until I harvest it. Because as you can see, there's some nice big tall shoots. So I'm going to harvest that. And uh, we'll make some uh, mint extract and some mint jelly. So that's how the garden grows. I've been really pleased with it this year. It's been a lot less maintenance. And I'm not sure if that's because I don't fuss with it as much. Or if it's because I'm just used to what it takes. Not sure. I haven't figured that one out. And I hope you're, you haven't given up on your gardens. You know, we're all going through a hot patch. Or a wet patch or something. Sometimes all it means is just kind of setting it aside until conditions change. So, I wish you all the best with your gardens. Blessings. <laughs>